The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, a mostly cloudy Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update. We begin our day with the equity futures trading to the downside. Now, not by much. You've got the S&P. It's off two. NASDAQ is down 20. Dow is down 25. And the Russell's off one. Now, the NASDAQ uh, 100, it's an uh, A&Q chart. The 60-minute uh, time frame, we just uh, uh, did the uh, Trader's Ed show today. It did close above the top of its uh, profile. And that suggests on a 60-minute base, that suggests that the NQ should continue to rally up towards its TD9 count breakdown resistance level. We're trading right now at 2149. It should make it move up to the 2183 level. So we'll just simply start there. We take a look at what took place that transpired last night over in Asia. Mixed bag out there. You have the uh, Shanghai that was up um, 34 points, a little over 1%. The Hang Seng up 100 128. Now the Hang Seng uh, formed bar number eight of a TD9 count last night. It should complete that, confirm that pattern tomorrow, complete that pattern on uh, Friday. Uh, over in the metals, uh, over in Europe right now, we've got the DAX is trading to the downside, the FTSE trading the upside. Gold's up six bucks, silver's down 35 cents. Copper is flat out there. Uh, U.S. dollar index is off uh, two pennies out here. Let's go take a look at what all this means by looking at my nine panel market update chart. We'll begin with the ES Mini. The ES Mini does not have any kind of a top in place. It's got an A to B equals CD pattern, quite frankly frankly, with initial price projection of 60.12. As long as the spot fix index trades below and stays below its 50-day exponential moved average of 50 days at 17.14, we're trading at 15.61. The spot fix index is telling you and I that it wants to go target the 14.08 area. If it does, in fact, do that, we will see the ES Mini continue to rally. The NQ is dealing with a TD9 count breakdown resistance area at 22.51. If price closes above that, we know it should rally to 21.83, but the question is, can it close above 22.51? If it does, then we'll have an A to B equals CD pattern on the upside there. If we take a look at uh, the U.S. dollar index, it's just been trading sideways, quite frankly. Goldilocks is going to go ahead and complete a TD9 count top today, as is silver. Price should pull back to test support. Light speed crude is trading up profile resistance. May want to target its descending trend line area. That would be in the 74-ish range. Natural gas has completed the one to one. A to B equals C to pen on the upside. It needs a bearish reversal candle to confirm a top in the 30-year treasury. Just consolidated with inside its profiles. 124.15 is support. You want to watch that today. 126.30 is resistance. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien is up next. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Tune in tomorrow at 11 a.m. sharp here at the Trader's Edge Show. Take care, folks.